step forth beyond the blue in Cygames' upcoming RPG extravaganza Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. The game's mobile-only forebearer is something of a cult classic in the East, with the Japanese developer believing now is the best time to unveil their marquee IP onto the rest of the world. There are significant changes that will make Grand Blue Fantasy Relink more palatable to Western audiences, most notably its combat. But if the game as a whole is as good as the gameplay we've seen, then we're looking at something very special indeed. It's an action RPG. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink represents Japanese developer Cygames' most ambitious title to date. Central to that ambition is to shift Grand Blue Fantasy Relink beyond the turn-based approach to combat present on the original game, released for mobile and internet browsers back in 2014. Cygames say they recognize that mobile games aren't as popular in the West as they are in the East, so this might provide one explanation towards the more action-oriented approach to Relink. Another might just be of a studio finding confidence and spreading their wings after the warm reception to prior games. Gameplay will be newcomer-friendly. Anyone who's had early access to playing Grand Blue Fantasy Relink will attest to the gameplay being familiar to any fan of action RPGs. This is deliberate, according to the developer, and the team at Cygames have been very careful in making Grand Blue Fantasy Relink as newcomer-friendly as possible by incorporating fluid, responsive, and intuitive controls. And of course, there's nuance and specific upgrade paths and special moves and the like, but getting the hang of the gameplay will be immediate. Combat Combat in Grand Blue Fantasy Relink takes the form of real-time, fast-paced action, with basic attacks, enemy dodging, combos, character-specific signature moves, and magic. Enemy offense, especially the attack pattern of bosses, will need to be learned to progress. And from the gameplay footage that we've seen so far, there seems to be a great deal of enemy variety on display. Attack Types and Skills the core structure behind battling in Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is of quick combo attacks and dodging. While each character in a player's party supports their own unique special skills that define their combat styles. As you'd imagine, most of these skills are offensive in nature, with elemental magic among the most eye-catching. Of the wealth of gameplay videos shared on YouTube, most enticing is the ability to deliver an icy blast to opponents, freezing them in place, leaving them exposed to more pummeling at the hands of your party. Not all skills are attack-based, though. No, as is traditional with RPGs, there are maneuvers that'll support your party with buffs, too. Skybound Arts Beyond individual skills, party members in Grand Blue Fantasy Relink possess potent signature maneuvers that can be unleashed in battle. These moves, dubbed Skybound Arts, comprise powerful attacks and special moves unique to each character that are executable via the rechargeable SBA gauge. These attacks slowly recharge as the fight goes on and are among the most cinematic moments in the game, adding a nice layer of satisfaction to support the devastating damage. There's an extra element at play too. Execute perfect combos and Skybound Arts will temporarily level up, while the immediate moments after utilizing a Skybound Arts attack renders a opponents briefly unable to guard, exposing them to yet more damage via chain burst attacks. Campaign Grand Blue Fantasy Relink of course features a lengthy campaign mode and this will be undertaken via single player only. There is a hub world that can be returned to at any time if players would like to undertake quests, with these quests being playable via teams of up to four. Quests Quest types include boss battles, time attacks, and survival mode, and as aforementioned, can be undertaken solo or in four-player co-op with the promise of valuable loot, the reward for taking down dangerous foes. In addition to these quests, there are also fate episodes, which will flesh out each party member's backsetting. Relink's World Sky Realm is steeped in lore, with these quests aiming to expand on the landscape's history. All in all, Cygames reckon there's up to 100 hours of side content in Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Boss Battles Among the flashiest encounters in the entire game, boss battles can be played solo, in four-player co-op, or with a squad of CPU allies. They represent the greatest opportunity to perform huge combos, deal significant damage, and score the best loot. A vast array of bosses feature too, ranging from dragons, goblins, and behemoths, with each boss equipped with their own unique combat style and attack patterns. Co-op Mode 
As already mentioned, the game's plethora of quests can be undertaken in squads of up to four. In fact, there's over a hundred quests dotted throughout each of Grand Blue Fantasy Relink's towns. With XP and treasure, the rewards for completing them. Playing with others isn't just the most effective way to farm rewards. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink appears designed with co-op in mind. As an example, there's a great range of communication tools, such as stickers and emotes that can be shared among players competing together from anywhere in the world. Stun Gauge The Stun Gauge is a special mechanic that accumulates in enemies that are repeatedly being attacked. When the Stun Gauge has been filled, enemies will become susceptible to special moves and party-based combos. To get the most out of Stun Gauge, it appears the flow of battle will require players focus their efforts on one enemy at a time. Party-Based Combat Mechanics In a move similar to the upcoming Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Psygames are aiming for complete synergy between party members in Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. For example, the aforementioned Stun Gauge leaves opponents exposed to Link attacks, with these being party-wide special moves that are executed by each member in tandem. Furthermore, reaping the benefits of Stun Gauge and Link attacks requires parties to strategize effectively together, utilizing each of their unique abilities to overcome the most challenging encounters. Upgrade Tree Inside, each character are unique upgrade trees with different skills, moving them beyond the more basic RPG method of leveling up by simply increasing base stats. As nodes are unlocked for each character, so too do they learn specific skills and special moves, with a huge variety of paths players can take to truly customize the build of their character. Upgradable Weapons Grand Blue Fantasy Relink goes beyond progressing the attributes of each character via the game's upgrade tree. Characters can be further customized via upgradable weapons and sigils. The specific path players can upgrade through unlocks specific weapons too, presenting an arsenal only they can equip. Assist Mode Grand Blue Fantasy Relink ships with an assist mode to provide accessibility to all levels of gamers, ensuring everyone who picks up the controller can get the most out of the game's fast-paced combat. The basic assist mode grants access to full combos via the press of a single button, plus assisted map navigation with auto-heal, auto-dash, and auto-guard also possible. Full Assist goes one further and does away with button commands, instead performing attacks, dodges, and combos via thumbstick movement only. The entire single-player campaign can be played with Assist Mode engaged. Release Date and Platforms Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is set for global release on February 1st, 2024, with various physical and digital editions on offer for PS4, PS5, and PC via Steam and there's a free demo available for PlayStation right now. That's all for now. If you enjoy what you saw, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, now is a great time to subscribe. We upload brand new videos every single day. After subscribing, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time, right here on Gaming Bolt.